How's it going guys? Just out the uh, new base camp here. Uh, kind of got things set up. Uh, got a couple things I want to do today. It's a beautiful day out. We're just getting out of a heat wave so it's kind of crazy right now. So it's only about 23 degrees, probably about 28, 29 with the Humidex. So uh, the goal today is to uh, place the foundation for the cinder blocks for the cabin and dig some holes and fill them with some rocks and I'll probably have to wrap it up tomorrow but I'm going to get that started today and the other thing I'm going to do is make a couple saw horses uh, just for construction purposes so yeah so we'll just get started and go from there Okay, so that was a lot of fun. It looked pretty good. They're about four feet wide. Pretty big uh, in terms of saw horses, but the reality is is that I'll be working with um, eight foot boards and I'll be working with uh, probably plywood four by eight or OSB four by eight. So I'll need something you know quite stable to lay those on if I need to cut things. So. Uh, it didn't cost that much for two by fours and um, a couple of those brackets, so maybe 30 bucks tops. So 30 bucks Canadian, so not bad. Uh, and they'll last a lifetime. So even if I don't use them out here forever, I'll have them for the rest of my life, most likely. Uh, so I'm glad to have that done. It's a minor thing, but it's uh, it's something that's be should be very useful in the long run. Uh, starting to get around noon, so I'm gonna. Uh, whip up some soup to eat right now and have a coffee for lunch and uh, eat and then I think I'll start digging holes. Uh, I wanted to do this earlier in the day but got kind of held up for a bit there which is fine. So uh, the goal right now is just to get something to eat and then uh, start digging those holes and getting some rocks in them and, and kind of getting a sense of the layout. Um, what I won't be doing today is I won't be filling the fine gravel in most likely and uh, I'll kind of explain how I'm going to go about the, the foundation and, and go from there. Alright, talk to you soon. Okay, so you can kind of see the layout beside me, or behind me, sorry. Uh, kind of laid it out uh, 12 by 12. It's a little bright, sorry about that. Uh, anyways, I'm just trying to get a rough shape of it. Um, it's kind of hard to tell because the camera only picks up so much, but I got kind of room to move left or right. So the sun obviously <laughs> comes from this angle 
and it always comes from this angle. It's always going to be east to west, and it's always going to be either above my head or heading out towards the hill there. So it'll eventually kind of get protected a little bit. But the majority of the daylight is going to hit the front area here. So what I'm trying to do is figure out, okay, if I build this thing, where and what could I expand onto it? So I'm thinking like a second deck or an extension. If I do do that, I'll want more room to this side. Um, so I think what I'm going to have to do is move every block over, say two or three or four feet to kind of scooch it up a little bit over here, which is the entrance area. And then use this front area as a work platform area as well as on the side. And then that would leave room for me expanding out to the other side, which is exactly what I want, just in case I build a deck or a uh, wood storage, whatever, you know, whatever comes up in the future. So, yeah, so I'm going to move all the blocks over and re-square them as best I can. And the idea is I'm going to dig some holes and then fill them with gravel and rocks. And it'll be a wide area so that when I build the actual floor, uh, I can kind of just adjust the cinder blocks in the area that's been dug out rather than getting too precise. Because if I get too precise, it leaves more room for error in terms of the spacing and the position of the, the actual floor. So I want to be able to twist it and turn it a little bit so it's kind of aligned the way I like it, the way it looks. So aesthetically, it'll be pleasing for myself and whoever comes up that way and then sitting at camp. So anyways, I'm going to get these all shuffled over and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so it looks pretty good. A little uneven, of course, because there's a lot of bumps and stuff like that. So, let me just tell you what, what I'm kind of doing, and, and you can be the judge. So, the area is sloped. Uh, it's sloped from the left to the right, going downhill out this way. So, as you walk up to the cabin, it's sloped left to right. Not badly, just general geography and the way this was cut and, and leveled. The lowest point is not a big deal because there's actually another just as low point right up in the front where there's a high point there. So this is the plan. I dig down six inches to a foot, not very much, just enough to put some good sized rocks down there, flatten them out as, as reasonably possible, and there'll be a nice solid base. And then from there, I'm going to get gravel uh, either by, from the road or from home and then I'm going to fill that grout all up and, and get it levelish. So the goal will be to get the cinder block itself level. Doesn't matter if this cinder block is lower than this one, this one's higher than this one, doesn't, that's not going to be relevant to what I, the way I'm doing it. All I need is that cinder block to sit relatively level. After that, I need to start building that frame. And when I do that, the goal is to prop it up off the cinder block. So I'm going to use four by fours uh, at six different points. Maybe even, uh, I'm thinking also maybe another couple points beyond that in the center, because this is 12 by 12. And raise it up. So what you can do when you do that is that, say this one is six inches lower than this one, you just cut a post at six inches higher. So you start at a point that looks relatively level and then you just match the post with the corner to make it level. But what I will do is dig it down enough to try and make the cinder blocks as, as visually level as possible so that differential is very small. I'm not going to raise it up that much. I, I feel like I only want about a foot of clearance so that if I had to get underneath it to like scrounge around or something then I could. But I don't really want to like dig a basement so to speak. So, so that's the plan. So I don't think I can get to it all today, but what I can get to is digging the four major, well, it'd be six major holes in this case. Get it down and then lug rocks up here, which will take the longest and hardest amount of work. After that, I'm going to go home. Uh, we have some uh, excess gravel at home. Get some buckets, fill it up, and then tomorrow I'll come and fill it up. And then from there I can buy the joists and uh, stringers for the floor and then as I build the floor I build it up a little bit 
so that it levels itself out over time. So yeah, it's, it's a bit of work, but it's, it's actually just as, if not more painful to level something that I don't have the ability to like laser level it. I don't have the ability to have uh, two people kind of looking at it and watching for it being level and it takes a lot of adjustments. Um, I'm going to try to get it close, but I don't think I will. So uh, I'm not really good at this stuff. I just am learning this stuff for the first time and uh, just trying to throw it together. So uh, I'm going to get some water. It's getting pretty warm out. It's pretty much high noon right now. And then I'm going to start digging. I'm going to dig a good size area for each one. I have six holes that I definitely have to dig. Um, and I'm thinking six inches. But we'll see. You see how hard it is to dig down. It shouldn't be too bad. And then we'll see how that feels in terms of like, okay, is that going to be enough of a support base? And it should be. It should be. So, all right. Talk soon. Okay, so I've got to reposition uh, basically where I want it probably wondering what the heck are these things. Believe it or not, these are from my workplace. They're cordialed cement blocks for wire cables that we put through the floor down into the basement. Saw them there, said, you know what? They'll just act as additional support, so I'll dig them down a little bit, give them a little bit of gravel, and they'll just be extra support. Didn't cost me any money. All good in the hood. So I de-weeded this a bit. Took out some of the baby trees and stuff that were starting to grow. Not a big deal, but you know, ideally I'd like to clean it all out, but for now I'm just gonna just do that. And now I'm gonna start digging some holes and yeah, it's gonna be fun. Lots of fun. It's warm out, that is for sure. Okay, so I dug down about oh, about six inches, give or take a bit. This is all rocks. Every ounce of it's rock. It must be bedrock from the slope down this way. Uh, that's great. So what I'm going to do, instead of getting a lot of gravel and a lot of big rocks, I'm going to get a few big rocks and then use the rocks that were in the dig out to level it off. The great thing about this is a little less work in some ways, but Still gotta go down to the creek and get some rocks. So yeah, that's not gonna be fun. So what I'm gonna do, this is really hot. It takes a lot of work. I'm gonna sweat like crazy. I'm gonna just do this one and then try and level it off and just give you an idea. And then I'll do the rest of them on my own time and you won't be bored by this silly film of me digging holes for a cabin. So we'll do that first. Okay, so after a bit of work, uh, I took the rocks. I brought them over here filtered them through my grill of all things to get the mid-size ones. Then I put some larger rocks down on the base and then I filled them up with the smaller rocks and leveled it with the smaller rocks. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, I still think I might get a couple buckles of, of gravel that, uh, that the family owns and put that in and then level it a little bit better and a little higher. Uh, but for now, this is exactly what I want. So now I'm going to do eight more of these. Whew, it's gonna be a lot of work. So I'm not gonna film it all. I'm just gonna go do it and When I get done, I get done and I'll bring you in on the results and we'll go from there all right. Okay, well you can kind of see what I did in the background uh, I've placed six of the nine blocks the last three I'll do probably tomorrow uh, when I have this kind of leveled out and uh, I can just kind of get a better gauge so uh, I've got three and three. Uh, they're all differing heights. And uh, the idea being is that I make the floor and then I raise each portion to make it all level. So, and again, I want it up about a foot so I can get underneath it at another point in time, just in case. Um, they're sunk down anywhere from six inches to a foot and a half, depending on how deep I had to go. There was one fellow over there, had to go pretty deep and then fill it up with a lot of rocks. Um, I'm still gonna go grab a bunch of gravel and then re-level them all and then uh, I'll be pretty much done at that point. I'll have to like set the three 
other guys, but that's no big deal. That takes a few minutes. I'm not uh, going to dig and, and bury them as, as much as the other ones. And uh, yeah, they're all lined up. They're all 12 feet across, roughly. Uh, you know, I'm trying to get it kind of square in the middle of the cinder block. Um, I might adjust that. I might push the cinder block in to make it more flush. But uh, generally, I want some overlap. And that guy right there is a 12 foot long post I made just to use as a metering device as I was working on it so I could get two points with a tape measure. So yeah, in the end it worked out really well. Um, if you saw it on the flat plane, it's, it's kind of like that, which is not great, but it is what it is. Like you can only lug so many stones before you want to jump off the bridge and call her a day. So I'm going to call her lovely and uh, yeah, and come back tomorrow and do some more work, but probably nothing I'm going to film most likely. It's probably just going to be me hanging out and stuff like that. I do more cooking, but the sun's killing me. I've probably sweat about eight buckets worth of sweat. Uh, I'm feeling a little, a little heat exhaustion right now and a little woozy. So I'm going to uh, pack up and get the hell out of here and, uh, and uh, come back and fight another day. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.